It's your English class. Make a great one. I want to make you some questions. Have you done your homework yet? What have you done these days? Anything special? Have you read any interesting book? Have you taken up any new hobby? These are situations in the recent past whose result is measured in the present. Prasi që kuptonin zërnës të dashur, ne sot do flasim për kone kryer të thjesht. Present perfect tense. How do we form the present perfect tense? It is formed by using the subject verb have in the long or short form plus the past participle of the verb, for example, worked, spoken, etc. Ne do të ndalemi në zgjedhimin e dy foljeve. E para është folja work, që është folje regult, dhe dyta folja speak, folje e par regult. Let's start. I have worked, I have spoken. You have worked, you have spoken. He has worked, he has spoken. She has worked, she has spoken. It has worked, it has spoken. We have worked, we have spoken. You have worked, you have spoken. They have worked, they have spoken. For example, he has worked as a doctor for 20 years. Po si mund të arrim ne të kryojmë pyetje dhe të japim përgjigje duke përdorë present perfect tense. Struktura e kësaj kohë është kjo. Have or has plus subject plus past participle. Pra folja kam plus kre fjallën dhe pjesoren. Letë është shojnë zgjedhimin e të njëjtave folje që zgjedhuan pak më parë. Më ndiqni dhe përpichurni të i përsrisni pas meje. Have I worked? Have I spoken? Have you worked? Have you spoken? Has he worked? Has he spoken? Has she worked? Has she spoken? Has it worked? Has it spoken? Have we worked? Have we spoken? Have you worked? Have you spoken? Have they worked? Have they spoken? Here there is an example. A teacher to the students. Have you worked in groups on the last project I assigned you? The students. Yes, we have or no, we haven't. Po, fjalit më hore, si mund t'i përdorim ne? Ato i kemi në dy forma. Më hore të gjatë dhe më hore të shkurëtër. Le të shojmë strukturën e tyre të formimit. Subject plus have not or haven't plus past participle or subject plus has not or hasn't for the third person singular plus past participle. Let us conjugate again the same verbs in the present perfect negative form. I haven't worked, I haven't spoken, you haven't worked, you haven't spoken, he hasn't worked, he hasn't spoken, she 
hasn't worked, she hasn't spoken, it hasn't worked, it hasn't spoken, we haven't worked, we haven't spoken, you haven't worked, you haven't spoken, they haven't worked, they haven't spoken. For example, he hasn't spoken to his friends for a week. Let us illustrate the usage of present perfect tense by providing some examples. Have they painted a house? No, they haven't. They have painted flowers. Have the kids played outside? Yes, they have. And when do we use the present perfect tense? We use it to refer to experiences. As for example, I have seen a beautiful movie. My friend has won a competition. She has met a famous person. We have been to a very entertaining show. Have you ever been in Italy? It can be used to refer to an action in the past whose result is visible in the present. For example, He can't play football. He has broken his leg. I cannot do my homework. I have sprained my wrist. My friend knows a lot about the life of that writer. He has read his autobiography. The present perfect tense is also used to refer to unfinished periods of time. So, let's have a look at the following statements. Ismail Kadare has written many interesting novels. I have done three exercises so far. She hasn't seen that movie yet. We haven't finished the project yet. And which are some of the most used related expressions to this tense? Let's start with yet, just, for, since, so far, already, this week, never, ever, and so on. Here we have some examples which are illustrated through some simple dialogues. Let's start with the first situation, entitled At the Cinema. Where is Mira? The movie is about to start. Yes, how long have we waited for her? We have waited for about 20 minutes. Let me give her a call. And the second situation is entitled Hiking in the Mountains. It feels so good to go hiking in the morning. I haven't gone hiking for a long time. I agree. The air is so fresh. I am getting hungry. How long have we been there? We have been here since 7 o'clock. What? It has been 4 hours since we came here. Let's go and grab a bite. And here it comes the practice time. You are asked to identify and correct the sentences. The first one. I have watched an interesting movie yesterday. Did you eat on breakfast this morning? Have you ever been on a plane? No, I haven't never been. Did she get married yet? I have been a teacher since 10 years. Në këtë pik le të shojmë cilat nga fjalit janë zonë gabim dhe si duen korijuar ato. Më ndiqni. I have watched an interesting movie. Have you eaten breakfast this morning? Have you ever been on a plane? No, I haven't been. I have never been. Don dalim të kjo fjali mohore. Kjo 
është edhe në dy forma, është përgjigja e pyetjes së mësipërme. Pra, ne mund të themi, I haven't been, ose I have never been. Vini rej përdorimin e never, që është adverb of frequency, da i folje shpeshtësie, e cila duhet shëtruar me folje në formën pohore, në mënyrë që fjalia të marë kuptim o horë. Has she got married yet? I have been a teacher for 10 years. And finally, I'm going to set you a home assignment for the next time. You are going to send a message to a friend and tell him or her about five things that you have done recently. Thank you for attending me. This is the end of our English class for the seventh grade.